prep for the next project, I want to show you how to create a seamless pattern. We've all seen the red carpet uh, venues and award shows where you have the model walking down and they appear before a backdrop of the awards logo that's been repeated in a seamless pattern. It's really easy to do that in Photoshop. And so I want to show you how I did that in this image and then we'll recreate something similar for a PowerPoint slide. So to create the seamless logo, I did a new image that's 400 pixels by 400 pixels. And I found the shape under the custom shapes tool. This is under the banners and awards, which is part of the legacy shapes. And you might need to turn those on if you don't see those. And then I add some text and I merge those into, into a layer. Then I duplicated the layer. And to show you what you want for the seamless pattern is I added some ruler guides at 200 pixels, so halfway through. And then I simply took the, took the, make sure I had snap two turned on under the view menu to the ruler guides. You can take this upper quadrant and then with the move tool, move it down here to the bottom left. And you do the same thing to the other quadrants, moving them diagonally opposite. And what you end up with is this. And that will be a seamless pattern because this side matches up to that side, which matches up to the bottom of that and so forth. Turn the background off. We go to my top layer and I'm going to create a composite layer. Shift, Control, Alt, N, E or Shift, Option, Command, N, E on the Mac. Creates a composite layer. And then I can do a Control, A to select all, Command, A on the Mac edit, define pattern. And we can name our pattern. I'm going to name this PS Awards 3 because I've already created some others. And I could then use that pattern. Now here's another way to do this, which is kind of slick, and that's using a filter. So let me get rid of these two layers. So there's my logo again. And as I did before, I'm going to duplicate that layer. And then I'm going to go to the Filter Other Offset. Now let me show you what happens when I move the slider for horizontal. I get, I'm moving that image over. And because I have wraparound turned on, if I move it off the screen, it starts to wrap around the other side. Now, this is 400 pixels, so my, it's 200 pixels on each side. If I simply come in here and say I want 200 horizontal, notice how it splits that horizontally, and then vertically, I can do the same thing. Let's say I want 200 vertically. Click OK. And there is that same effect that I did manually, but much faster using the offset filter. Once again, on the top layer, I'll create a composite layer. Control, Alt, and E. If you want, you can turn these other ones off. And then do a Control, A to select, edit, define pattern. And this one I'll call PS Awards 4. Let's look at how it brings the pattern in behind our model. I'll close my awards logo back to the image of our red carpet scene. So I have the, the model on its own layer, the background. I'm going to simply create a new layer, go to the edit menu, choose fill. And I want to fill with a pattern. And I'm going to go find that pattern I just created. Here's that PS Awards 4. I'm going to click OK. And there is our seamless logo throughout the image. Let's make this a little more photorealistic. So on the model, I'm going to add an effect of a drop shadow. And I use an opacity about 44%. Not much distance, a little more spread, but a lot of size. Just maybe a Slight shadow would be created from a flash photography. Even though usually these backgrounds are pretty well uplit. I don't like the uniformness of this background. It looks fake to me. So what I'm going to do is go to that layer. I'm going to add a new solid color. And let's make it gray. I'm going to click on the thumbnail. And I'm going to do black and white as my foreground and background color. 
I'm going to choose the gradient tool. I want to make sure I'm using the radial gradient. And I'm going to about where her chin is, maybe a little below. I'm going to drag out. That kind of gives us that spotlight effect. But then also on that layer, let's bring the opacity down considerably. So now you get a little bit of a graying on the on the sides and a kind of flash burst in the center. That looks much more realistic. The other thing we can also do here is add some texture. So again, I'll just add an, I'm going to go to the, to the layer that has my logo on it. I'm going to add another layer. And this one I'll fill with white. I'm going to take the paint bucket, fill it with white, so I have something on there that I can work with in terms of the texture filter. And a couple things we could do would be clouds or fibers. I'm going to try the clouds, see what I get there. Kind of a cool effect, but again, we've lost our logo. So let's bring this opacity way down as well. Let's see if we have a little bit of texture. So that's one option. The other option, I'm going to do a control, control Z a couple times to negate that. Let's go back to filter, render. This time we'll do fibers. And for the fibers, you can play around with the different settings here. I might do something like that. Click OK. Now again, I'm going to bring the opacity way down on this. And I might also set the blend mode to maybe something like multiply. That kind of gives a little more of a fabric-y look to that background, like a curtain look. That's how we create the red carpet background.